Welcome to Airtech SA, the leading supplier of autoclaved aerator concrete masonry units. Today I will be taking you through a step-by-step -step process of how to install AAC building blocks into structures. Step 1. The leveling course. The leveling course is the most important course in this building system. The leveling course consists of a 1s to 3 cement sand mixture. The leveling course allows for any undulations in the concrete slab or deck to be taken care of. It's imperative that the leveling course is 100% level, which makes building easier for subsequent courses. Only the horizontal joints will get the dugger mix. All vertical joints on the leveling course get thin bed mortar glue, which is a polymer modified adhesive, which is formulated for AAC. When working with Etec AAC, building principles remain in place, such as profiles and string lines, to ensure level and line is always maintained. Step three, every second course will get fiber reinforced mesh, same as your conventional brick force, but fiber glass reinforced. When tying into existing concrete columns or clay brick walls, hoop iron or the AirTech connector must be installed. This gets installed every second course, like you would do with the fiber glass reinforcing mesh. This gets fixed to the concrete column or clay brick wall with two nail-in anchors and two 5mm by 50mm long coarse threaded wood screw into the AAC joint. Step 4. Openings. Airtech supplies AAC lintels. These lintels must always be installed over doorways or window openings with a minimum of 150mm bearing length on each side of the lintel. Step 5. When dealing with the last course to the soffit of a concrete slab or a beam, a 20mm gap must be allowed for. The reason for this gap is to avoid any deflection from a beam or a slab and being transferred directly onto the wall. Step 6. Every second vertical joint perpendicular to the soffit of a slab or a beam must receive a head restraint anchor. This head restraint anchor must be fixed to the AAC block with two 50mm by 5mm thick coarse threaded wood screws and two nailing anchors into the soffit or the concrete beam.